Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. My name is Cash, aka the Mega Man Pensioner, aka at Cash vs Diabetes. So this video is my experiences, my opinions, my thoughts on the Minecraft Mega Man X DLC. So I'm going to get straight to the good bits. Um, so first of all, um, I played it a few times before I started to live stream it. The idea for me was to live stream the Minecraft Mega Man X DLC uh, from October 1st to January 1st. Um, so that's like three months if I'm, you know, still sane in the head. Um, but as I was live streaming the game, uh, which I did for 11 days, unfortunately, um, which I'm going to explain why I'm going to give up these live streams in a minute. So as I was live streaming this Mega Man X DLC on Minecraft, um, I had some good experiences and bad experiences. So I'm going to get to the good experiences first. Um, so um, I like the design of the stages, um, all of them. Um, the fact that you can be flexible in terms of like moving around the stage. Um, so it's like 3D. It's not just forwards and back. You can just rotate anywhere, forwards, backwards, left, right, up, down. Um, uh, some of the special weapons I enjoyed using. Uh, I think five of the eight special weapons were fun for me to use. Um, there were, I think, three or two special weapons that were not so good to use for me, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, so yeah, so some of the special weapons were fun to use. Um, I like the graphics of the uh, the uh, the DLC, the Mega Man X DLC on Minecraft. Um, so it was fun for a little while. Um, so now I'm going to get on to the bad bits in my experience. Um, I was playing it on PlayStation 4. So I'm not sure what it's like for people on PC or other consoles. Um, but from my experience, um, there were a lot of bad experiences for me while I was live streaming it. For example... The game would freeze like frequently a lot uh, in any of the stages that I played, um, which caused me to like die many times, uh, get hit by the enemies too much, um, having to wait like 10 seconds, maybe sometimes 20 seconds for the, the game to process and carry on. Um, so that was very annoying for me. Um, so that's number one. Number two, um, yeah, a few of the special weapons um, were, did not live up to expectations, in my opinion. Um, for example, one of them was Rolling Shield. Um, I charged up Rolling Shield, and I was expecting to uh, hit an enemy or kill an enemy in the DLC. Um, the charging Rolling Shield does nothing. Um, it just looks good, um, but it didn't do any damage to any enemies. It didn't protect me from... Uh, any of the attacks or anything like that um, so that's one example and the worst part for me um, in terms of using the special weapons were uh, the storm tornado I charge the storm tornado and it actually kills your character um, so charging the storm tornado I tried it once and I stood there and it just drained down my HP and then I was dead so that was a big disappointment for me. Um, that was like a turn off for me. Um, and the worst part for me was I would play the game, whether it be speed run or just doing the normal story mode. I think it was Sigma's Fortress Stage 3, where sometimes the door will not open to proceed to the next level or to the next boss. Um, so various times I had to... Uh, exit the stage and then reopen the stage in order for that door to open on my second try of that third stage of the Sigma's Fortress. Um, so that was a turn off for me. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, as far as I remember, I've got all my live streams saved on my YouTube channel. Um, I was live streaming it for 11 days. Um, I was hoping to go on until January 1st. Um, but after playing the Minecraft Mega Man X DLC for a short amount of time, not even over two weeks, 11 days, so that's under two weeks. Um, there was a lot of bugs, a lot of lagging, a lot of freezing, 
um, which was not fun for me to a certain point. Maybe day eight or day nine, I was like, how am I going to uh, live, stream, live stream this for like until January 1st? Um, I just didn't see it happening. So having said that, that's the reason why I'm going to retire live streaming the Mega Man X Minecraft DLC. I should have said that the way, other way around. Um, so from this day forward, I won't be live streaming anymore um, unless somebody needs help with how to play the game, um, tips and tricks, or any other things you're stuck on in any Mega Man game, like Mega Man 1 to Mega Man 11, Mega Man X1 to Mega Man X8, Mega Man 01 to Mega Man 04, or Mega Man ZX. So if you want uh, video, any videos on any of the Mega Man games you need or want help with, or any questions about a certain part of the stage of any of the Mega Man games I just mentioned, um, you can comment on my videos. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if it's reasonable, I'll do so. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, so just my thoughts, my experiences um, on the Minecraft Mega Man X DLC. Um, I think I've covered everything in terms of what I wanted to talk about. Um, so sadly, I won't be live streaming uh, anymore um, unless a new Mega Man Mega Man X game comes out in the future. Uh, I don't know which one's going to be. So life is full of surprises, you know. Um, but that's it. So, uh, having said that, enjoy the rest of your day, and until then, GG's all around.